Hi guys, welcome back to Bok Bok Bouquet. Today I'm gonna show you how you can remove Bumblefoot easily and quickly by yourself. We just wrapped her up in a beach towel and we just soaked her in an Epsom bath for about 20 minutes. And we've been doing the pre-treatment with the Prid drawing salve for um, about a week now. The Prid drawing salve has drawn the infection to the surface, so we're gonna just quickly get into the removal right now. and it, I'll show you how you can do it without a scalpel. So the prid has drawn the infection of the surface and look, the soak and the prid makes the scab just easily peel off. You don't need a scalpel at all. I'm just going to slowly work around the edges of the scab. So Bumblefoot is actually a staph infection, so make sure you wear gloves while doing this because it is contagious to humans and you don't want to get it so be careful it starts off with just like a cut or a splinter and you know the nature of chickens they're scratching walking around they could step in their own feces and staff is present everywhere and if it gets into a cut or an abrasion it can turn into bumblefoot and if you notice your bird has swelling in between the webbing of their feet or if they in progressed stages they could start limping or even lose their ability to walk the infection is really serious and you need to get it removed because in severe cases it can go to their bone and kill your chicken so make sure you stay on top of it There we go, I think we're getting it all peeled up. Okay. Sorry guys, it's really windy today. All the stuff on my table starting to blow everywhere. There's just a little bit left in here, so. I pretty much got all that out with just my fingers, but I'm going to grab some tweezers now. After you remove that kernel, just feel around in the pad of their foot. Make sure there's nothing else trapped in there. So the infection, pus in chickens, is a, becomes a white, hard kernel. It's not like pus like me or you have and what's live flesh will be pink and clear like fleshy so that's how you can differentiate so we got everything out i'm just going to kind of stop any sort of bleeding there wasn't much because we were using the drawing homeopathic salve to get this all to the surface and now i'm going to flush it with an iodine solution betadine to clean that out kill any other infection that's in there spray it with some more veterosin and then I'm gonna pack it full of neosporin without pain relief make sure you only use the original formula and then rewrap the foot up all right see so guys don't be intimidated you can handle this all by yourself prid drawing salve is a great way to soften that scab and make this super non-invasive so make sure after you get that kernel out that you're gonna keep cleaning the wound and rewrapping your foot. We didn't show how to wrap the foot in this video because we wanted to make it like just short and sweet and get to the point, but we have a whole video we put out last year where we go over every step and we go through every little detail. So check that out right here. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys found this helpful. We'll see you next time. Say bye, Hetty.